up guys welcome back apparently it's lounging hour on the bridge <laughs> you guys are so cute miss cookie in the it's not teen squad i guess the boys are still teen try to get video before i go inside because the babies are sleeping out on the porch i see one two three four hey oh. yesterday was just a bit crazy guys we got a lot going on uh, making soap like crazy for the 4-6 Etsy restock. Saturday, April 6th, at noon Eastern Time. We got, let's just full on talk about Gingy. You're missing a baby. We'll come back to the talking about Gingy as soon as I find all the babies. So the easiest way to find all the babies is to count. One, two, and we had, let's see. You think you were dead? Three, four, five, six, one hiding behind the pole, seven, eight. Mr. Zeus, you're not acting very Zeusery. What are you running from? <laughs> not cuteness, because it already caught you, buddy. Ah, beauty. Hop, hop, hop along. Oh, good mama there. One of her little babies even peeps and she goes to check on them. She doesn't really talk back to them a lot, though. She really just kind of visibly checks them. Okay, let's talk about Genji mom, Genji mom. Yeah, there's your mama, bub. What? So she has been out in pasture all day. She actually took the babies with her today. So I haven't really had time to... Why? Did you want to just lay in the sun? <laughs> You're a dork. Here, kiss your mom. So she's gone back and forth between eating grain, not eating grain, uh, drinking the other goat's milk, not drinking the other goat's milk, She's really been up and down and sideways and backwards, and I don't even know. I, I really don't know. I really do not know even if anything is plaguing her. And I know I did the video the other day, sick or not sick, I don't even know anymore. And it's just because her poo, no worms, not enough worms or coccidia to warrant even treating. Hello, handsome. This is a bag of lime in here because I limed the entire barn and all the stalls. Because uh, it is spring, lice pop up, mites pop up, and it gets warm. And so what we've really decided to do with her is treating her with... I was trying to make this video very straightforward 
with all the information that I needed. What are you doing? I don't have anything. You want to see a cute video of this one? Most of you guys saw the picture I posted last night. Here's the video how I got that picture. Hi, beauty. <laughs> Now get out of here. Get out of here, crazy cakes. Get, I'm trying to, I just, I'll come see you later. This your baby? She's cute. So really, we warmed her right after kidding. As you guys know, that's the only time we actually kid with an intended purpose outside of them, kid, deworm is what I meant to say. Outside of them actually showing signs of needing dewormed, Right after kidding is the only time we actually deworm out of cycle, out of purpose. And kind of there is a purpose. We've seen enough times where mom, kids, the babies take all the, you know, she's been pregnant for five months. The babies are stealing every single thing from her body. They're usually down a little bit. Some of them do better some than others. And it's just one of those things where I've seen it enough times that they're down, they're, you know, they're feeding the babies, they're producing a lot of milk, and for whatever reason, the worms, whether it's mom not being able to fight them off or whatever, the just the worms seem to just explode after kidding. <laughs> well, that's not your mama. That's why she tried to bite your face or your butt. So that's when we deworm after kidding, and... She, I don't, I don't, you know, we, we thought maybe at the beginning that she was dealing with some hypoglycemia with her blood sugar. And then we were thinking, um, oh, is it hyper, hypocalcemia or she's short on calcium? I don't know if that's the right word. Uh, so we treated her with, uh, human calcium supplement. And then we've switched over to Tums. We didn't have Tums. So we've switched her over to Tums. Gave her that last night. Uh, and outside of anything and everything else, the only thing we could think of is, I'm sorry, that was the camera shake because of this one. And this one. And this one. <laughs> Get out of here. Boop, boop. So outside of that, the only thing we could really think of is she, her, her fever was 103, which really 101, 103 for a goat is pretty normal. So we're thinking maybe like low grade, mild infection of some sort. Uh, so we started her on antibiotics and we use penicillin G. It's two times a day for five days, so 10 doses. And she's really started her yesterday morning then last night and then this morning and she's really seemed to react best to that so maybe there was some sort of infection or is some sort of infection happening because this morning she's gotten up she's gotten out she ate some of her food probably half uh also given her replimin gave her some probios some probiotics just to address any gut issues she might be having uh, but she's eating grass. She's going out. She's had in the pasture most of the day. And outside of that, outside of the fact that she's incredibly hard to read because she's the Eeyore of goats. Honey, I will pick you up. Do you just want to be held? Where's your mama? Your mama's just here. It's not like she's out in the field. But don't lick that. I just cleaned it. She's so silly potato. Sometimes they just like to be held. I have never minded holding a baby goat. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Is it nap time? It looks like it's nap time. You know how ridiculously cute you are? You have no idea the cute level that you bring to the world. Oh, you just chinny scratch? Oh, chinny scratch. <laughs> Love you so much. So that's Gingy. I don't know. She's acting back to normal, which is low-grade sloth to her. And that's, I don't really have anything else to, to put on that. She's feeding the babies. They look good. They're following her around. They're, she's stopping to let them eat. 
they're all chubby. Uh, Mr. Hunchy, man, I know a few of you commented that Big Red was a little hunchy. He seemed to have worked that out. We gave him some probios last night. Um, he's been on mom's milk. She's been feeding him really well. I don't know, maybe he had a gas bubble or maybe he just had a little bit of indigestion. But I don't like, I don't like hunchy babies. These two are fine. No issues. Besides the fact that you're either in trouble or looking for it. She is literally down at the bridge this morning. Trying to figure out how to get under the goat bridge without getting in the water. She was almost belly crawling trying to get under there. You're a little goofball. Okay, this one. Babies, I'll get you minerals in a minute. This one here, Gummy Gum Drops, has coccidia. It's spring. It's been excessively wet and excessively warm. Not excessively, but for spring, it's been exceptionally warm and wet. And nothing like coccidia to rear its ugly head in those conditions. It's just the perfect conditions. Uh, so Gummy's dealing with some coccidia issues. I treated her this morning. Her butt looks like it's nice and dried out now. She had just wet diarrhea all over her. And it's, you know, we've had good years. This is not a bad year. I mean, we had a year where it was super wet and super hot. And every, just about every goat in the barn came down with it to where we were just like, you know what? It's not worth waiting. Let's just treat the entire herd. Bruh, bruh, sweetie, boops, boop, boopsy, hey, come here, she's over here, baby. <laughs> Goat cam, <laughs> here, baby. Sometimes, man, they, they wake up and mom's not there, they freak out. And it's even worse because... Mom got up and both boys got up and left and she woke up all by herself. So then she's really freaking out. So Gummy treated her for coccidia. Uh, this has turned into a great big update video. How about that? Shuzo is doing... <laughs> Hi, beauty. Hey, what are you... Oh, she is so tall and lean. You gonna be built like your mama? Baby gazelle. Hi, handsome. <laughs> You just catching some sun. You look good in any light, my guy. Any light. Your ear shadow is casting a weird light on your face, though. <laughs> I love him so much. I just got to talk H into keeping him. There's no real reason to keep him other than he's absolutely the most beautiful baby boy goat I've ever seen. So, Struzel has been eating all of her food. She looks like she's putting weight actually back on. We have treated her for... All of her test results came back perfect. No issues. Uh, no coccidia, no worms. I did treat her for lice because she had some on her. And she still gets red cell every day. Uh, probi uh, probios and replamin once a week. I'm feeding her... The calf mana, mana pro calf mana. And she's really just loving the fresh grass. She's eating hay, she's eating her food. She's acting really, really, really good. So she is in great condition. This handsome devil. You boys are wrecking my fence. I'm gonna have to take some of this off of here. What's that? You look chubby, man. They haven't been running around chasing each other, beating the crap out of each other for a while. Hey, hey, hey. No, I don't want you to eat my shirt. I don't see Snicks. He's probably... Oh, he's right there. Snick, Snickers is right there. Uh, he also has coccidia. And what I was saying, like, this, this is... You know, we've had, what, three goats this year, I think, that have had coccidia. And so that's not... Not unusual and not terrible. Now, what we have next is Mississippi, who's... I think she'll probably be kidding... Tomorrow, uh, late into tonight or tomorrow, I'm not that convinced that she is going to kid tomorrow. They're really not due for a couple more days. Her, and I don't know where Mooney is. Mooney Moon, Mooney Moon Pie's out there by the cage. Uh, 
So I think Mississippi's due the 31st and Mooney is due the 1st. So neither one of them are really at day 145 yet. Mooney, on the other hand, went, so first kidding, first freshener was last year and she went two days early. So we're really, really keeping an eye on her just in case she decides that, not that she decides, but I don't think she has any real control over when, when her body decides it's time to kick out the, the hostages. Are we going for a walk in the pasture? Okay. Hey, chubby babies, come on. Let's get to zipping. <gasps> Cream puff just blazed across the porch up there. You girls come, oh jeez. Hey, drummy, stop it. Where's your brother? We're one short, Mr. Snickers, baby Snickers is somewhere. So we've been watching out all day, just making sure mom gets out. This is the first time the babies have actually come out across the bridge. They had a little confusion getting back to the barn once today, but they figured it out. Oh, he's right there. How'd I miss you? <laughs> what? Your mama's over here, babies. <laughs> Who are we still missing? We're still missing just Cream Puff. She's up on the porch playing. Hey. Oh my goodness. Ah, he's Pinky Dinks. So this is what it's all about, guys. Get you some goats. Find some time in your day after you have babies. <laughs> just come out here and sit in the pasture with them. Come on, Puff. Puffy. Follow sugar pie. No. Two days older than than Genji's babies, and they're so cocky and confident. Cut in the corner of the bridge, running back in their barn on their own. Uh, Big Red, everybody left you. You can't figure out how to get up on there. Echo locating. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that because of the wind. They're just trying to find each other. Mom's over here. We got Mississippi. Frosty mom. Marlin, who's as big as the rest of the groats now. Twinkie. Tick. Mr. Sir, President Sir. Mochi, who's as big as a house as well. Uh, Tootsie Drummy. Mooney. Trouble and double trouble. Put in Sparkle Mom, Muffin, Sprinkles, Sugar Pie, of course, Gummy. I made them a little teeter totter right there, but they keep knocking it off. Well, the wind is not going to quit, guys, so I'm going to call it a day. That's the big old update. That's the babies in the pasture. Why are you hanging out with her? She doesn't like you. All right, I'm gonna go catch Big Red. Well, oh my gosh. Now one with mom, one on the bridge, one st stuck behind the fence. I'm gonna go get your sister. You wanna come with? Well, just stay there, I'll be right back. Cause he speaks English. Can you not? Please don't. I know. I know. I know. Distract you with the camera. Oh, now I got two of them back. Now, how am I supposed to carry two of you plus a camera? What do you think?
Just like that, I guess. One hand. Cookie, you wanna watch these babies? Mm. I'll watch them fall in the creek and not care, huh? Yes, you will. <laughs> I know who loves you, babies. All right, let's take you two troublemakers to mom. And then we'll call it a day. It's always further than it looks. There you go. Two days old, already eating grass, three days old. I don't know, how, how old are you guys? You guys going on a week? I don't know. Please don't eat my shirt. Please don't eat my shirt. All right, guys, that is all. Sorry about the wind, and we will see you tomorrow.